When I think of Rick Knight, I think of blue jeans and bow legs. I immediately think of optimism and enthusiasm. When I hear Rick Knight, I think of a big cheesy grin. That's all I can think of, because anytime you see him, that's all you see. You know, you meet a lot of people in your life that are uh, excited about what they do, but that someone ha that shows their passion and their love every step of the way, that's Rick Knight. When I hear the name Rick Knight, I immediately think of a man with one of those gentle hearts that CSU has. One of the things that makes Rick so special is he has this ability to inspire those around him. First of all, I think of Rick as a friend and a colleague that I've worked with for several years. And uh, he's always uh, just beaming with energy. Rick, 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 where do you even start? What do I think of when I hear Rick Knight? I think of one of the great long friendships of my life and one that has been incredibly rewarding and enriching and enlightening and fun and full of energy. Oh, I have a lot of favorite things about Rick. Um, I don't know, I would say just his positive energy. Just, uh, he's kind of a consumer of life. What makes you so special is your enthusiasm, your excitement, your passion for, for life and for everything that's good. He loves what he does and he makes sure he stays in his face of love and doing what he really cares about and what he's passionate about. He does everything wholeheartedly. He has such a passion and a drive for anything that he does. Knowing how hard it is for him to leave the department, I think makes it kind of hard for me sometimes. I think what, what makes Rick special is his passion. His passion for students, his passion for uh, his discipline, his passion for making a difference. So Rick Knight, what he contributes to CSU and his students is definitely his passion and his enthusiasm, but he is one of the few teachers I've ever met that just cares so much about his students. He cares so much about what he's teaching them. I think it was, you know, he's one of those individuals that you sort of celebrate that we ever had the opportunity. Um, to, uh, to, to share a workspace with them um, and celebrate that and not lament too hard that, that you probably won't get somebody like that again. When I think of Rick Knight, um, I think of an amazing teacher, uh, someone who's uh, touched the lives of lots of students over the years. He, he doesn't turn away students. He doesn't judge them for where they're at or where they've been. He sees their potential and he, he brings it out. To me, he's an inspiration. Um, to the Warner College, he's a master in his field, and he's an absolute delight to have as a professor, and he's just a light to see. The first thing I think of when I think of Rick Knight is conservation genius. He knows everything there is to know about conservation and biodiversity, and just has such a passion for conservation. He's a mentor in the truest sense of the word. Um, really cares about his students, gets out there, um, is always ready with a joke or a story. He loves students, he loves to talk to students, and he loves helping us in any way possible. So it's just great to have a teacher that's passionate about you and also passionate about what you're, you're passionate about as well. Rick Knight, when I hear his name, <laughs> I think of happy and positive and no filter. <laughs> but. Um, He's loving and he cares about his students and he's, I think, what every student looks for in a mentor. The professor that I've, that's had the greatest impact on me would definitely be Dr. Rick Knight. You can feel his passion for this science, for his students, and it's just inspiring. You know, when I think of you, I see a consummate conservationist and a complete teacher in every way imaginable. So Rick um, embodies what it's like to be a great, caring teacher of young people. Amazing. At the same time, he's super smart and super connected to the conservation world, so he's contributing in so many ways at so many different levels. And so, you know, if we had a, the most distinguished professor at CSU, you know, he, he would be the one that I would pick. He's just amazing. Uh, what makes him special is his passion. Uh, uh, passion and, and knowledge. Um, I mean, he's, he's always reading stuff, especially in the area of Aldo Leopold, and um, 
because of that, he's able to, to really know when he's talking about things that are passionate to him. He really represents this, uh, this sweet combination of someone who's um, so passionate about natural resources, agriculture, and the intertwining of those two. So leaving CSU is, is difficult. I think for anyone when their their career and what they love to do are aligned and synchronized together, the, the boundary between the two is, um, is almost no boundary at all. Yeah, what is the legacy of Rick Knight? I mean, I think we've all sort of had to uh, kind of humbly realize that these aren't shoes that you're going to fill, that there will be a gap um, no matter how you, who else you might bring in or, or however you try to cover the stuff that Rick was doing, um, it's not, it, you're not going to replace Rick. The greatest thing about Rick retiring is that he's not going to leave. And so we know that he's going to be back teaching classes, right Rick? Okay Rick, so here's my message to you. You have given so much to so many people. You've made all of our lives better. We all love you for that very dearly. And this is not the end. And I'm confident that whatever you choose to do in the years to come, um, it will be meaningful. You'll do it with great passion. You'll give more than you receive and you will enjoy every minute of it and it'll be another great contribution. I love you.